Greetings my friends, this is Jules Monsieur. I hope my battery will last till the end of this video to recharge it. Today is the, is the Shabbat, it's the day of rest and re, the, the day to give, the, to, to consecrate to, to the divinity. Do not ask too much, speak too much things to any other one or, for, or to yourself. Just try to be relaxed, try to be uh, in the enjoyment of, of the connection to, to God, to the Creator. There is a divinity that we really need to reconnect to. It is one of the most powerful divinity as, as living being on the earth. It is the Mother Earth it is the goddess Gaia. It is very, very essential that we connect to that, that divinity. And so I'm here to speak about transcendental psychology, this process of ascension. Do always, always use a lot of discernment, see what you can use, what will make your quality of your life to expand your consciousness, that makes you more aware, more, more conscious creator before you, you apply it. But it is very important to apply all the knowledge we receive. Uh, and also wanted to thank you. Um, to, to subscribe and to, to hit the, the bell button and to to, uh, to, to to like, to share, to comment and then for your donations. If you're on a private session, you can send me an email. So, so it's... Um we have to let go of all the fears of the past and the future to be well within the now. It is very, very essential right now to find the pol to find the balance within this world of polarity. To remain unipolar, to understand all come from within. To move to the stillness point, and from there you can act. So, but but to understand there is a, there is a need for balance and harmony. For for sometimes we ask where is the joy that we've been promised in this process of ascension. But it's all about aligning with our higher self. Our higher self is the midpoint between our lower consciousness and our divine I am presence, the God, our God self, which is both within and above. And so at first it will come as drop this higher light of the but there is the polarized light that we see here, and there is the higher light that is very intense, very bright, very shine that's like so powerful but at first it comes it comes through our soda as, as drops then eventually we'll connect to the river of life the the, the anti corona the the uh, the rainbow bridge and so it, it will manifest in many ways but uh, continue to to apply yourself and it can only fail if you do not apply yourself we can only fail if we if we drop the process but otherwise the the ascension is assured and when our choices are anchored enough we have no longer the choice even if we choose to derail life will bring us back into the track and so continue to affirm yourself be determined in this process of ascension focus on what is harmonious in your life or focus on the good in your life be a friend to yourself love yourself accept yourself everything starts here and now and it's always here and now and it's it's always starts from love you have to start there is no need we, we cannot go backwards and um. We, we have to let go of all the negative thoughts, the shame, the guilt, the fear, the doubts, all of that. And it's very important to, to, to monitor our thoughts and our words so that we can transmute that, erase that uh, from, from our consciousness. And um, for we don't need to always be right. Some people they want to be right. Even if we know we are all right, we are, our consciousness is higher than what they, they want to offer. If they are really too polarized and they're not willing to accept a higher truth, um, just stay in silence and let them believe whatever they want to believe. Even if it's highly vital, the, the, the information you bring is like a, like extra strong coffee or very high vitamin to wake them up. If they're not programmed to wake up, they won't wake up. Do not force anyone or anything. Just offer suggestion when they uh, offer guidance, offer counsel when it's asked, when it's appropriate, uh, and. Um, and, and uh, just continue to communicate on peace, on joy, on love, honor, integrity, tolerance, unity, abundance, respect. All of that leads to self-empowerment, lucidity, and serenity. And we're affecting the collective subconscious when you focus on love and kindness all the time. It's like when there is enough people... It will affect the whole humanity. Everybody will take that as natural. It will, just as fear has been the the main egregore that is feeding the collective consciousness. But a, a source of love is a thousand times more powerful than a source of fear. Although the, the both both aspect of the or it read, the, the both aspect of the, the of the uh, of this creation of what we create will affect the subconscious. Eventually, will clear the subconscious. Will become fully conscious. Will have no more. Will know all our past life. But everything has to come slowly and progressively. And just coming coming into this reality, you have to congratulate yourself. To to be grateful. To 
the planet is grateful for you coming into this this reality for i'm talking to to here i'm considering if you tune if you are attracted to those messages it means you are an enlightened being you are a master in the making and so <coughs> understand you come from a very high plane of, of divinity of, plane of where God was so powerful and so present and, and, and everything was perfect, everything was beautiful, everything was good. But when we came we chose to come into this plan this plane it's it's really hard to adapt to all the heaviness of it. And so um so so it is uh, it is we're learning to become partner with the father mother god and eh, to the, the divine masculine and the divine feminine the goal is to liberate the sacred fire for the ascension the sacred fire will transmute all that is needed to be transmuted you can work in the golden white light of the christ or work of the the blue fire of power of michael the pink fire of uh, of, of love so if i send you pink fire into your heart you're, it is a good way that in the ascended realm we send pink fire into the, the heart of anyone we meet so it, it is very non the, the pink fire is very non-intrusive uh, and then we need to break free to break the door of the sacred heart so it, it does there is no more door and the flow comes out and, and so and, and we balance out the the, the the blue fire of will the, the pink fire of love and, and the yellow fire of wisdom and the violet fire we gotta continue to use it it is the, the mix of the blue and pink fire that meets and becomes the the, the seven ray the, the, the violet fire of transmutation and we need to drop the shield that we've placed upon our solar plexus our power center because we place this shield and for hundreds of lifetimes we've been placing this shield to protect ourselves but now we do need to to let go of the shield so those fire can can expand into the creation of our life and that uh, we the goal is to turn our own personal life into into a wonderland a paradise and so even and to become a beacon of light for all to see and to 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 continue to be this light in the darkness to to recognize uh, for in the higher planes we are recognized by the love the frequency of a higher light a soul song and um and so we, we, had, we do have to let go of all the fears of the past and the future for if there is a problem. It has to be in the now. But there is, if we let go of the past and the future, there is usually no problem within the now. If we face a difficulty, you call on, call on the, the assistance of, uh, uh, of, the, of, of wisdom, of your guides, of your, uh, of your creator. And, uh, but we have also to become free from the mental control of others, to be independent in our thinking. And so, so all of that is really, uh, there is a great deal of transformation. I see this, this breakthrough in my own personal life. You'll see it when I continue to communicate. For, for the choice and, and beliefs that we adopt right now will be quite significant because the, 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 there is many, many timelines that are allowed to continue, very artificial and um, inorganic timelines. This, uh, and, and then there is the, eventually the creator will, will completely clear this up and will remain, um, will make all just a, a number of timelines that is organic and, and will be aligned to whatever uh, whoever in relationship to the choice of the soul for every soul has planned an eternal development that will lead them to enlightenment and ascension but some of them are just starting the program and they do not they not do not want that so they they will go through thousands of more lifetime before they're ready for that we have to accept that and and to, um, to understand some people are um, they're not ready to accept any reality beyond the world of senses there are other people that want to live in a flat earth they, and, and and after the ascension in the fourth dimension they will be able to live in the flat earth and the above all if that's what they, they really want need to experience on their soul level they are also that are transhumanist with this metaverse the draco reptilian program that will entrap their soul for thousands of lifetimes to become fuel to fuel the energy of the, the draconian matrix but there is also the ascending timeline and it is not saying it is just something that we, we cannot prevent the soul from fulfilling the program that it has chosen we want to be able to to inspire people towards freedom joy love inclusion uh, and then there is this ascending timeline uh, for it is the it is the galactic uh, the connection to the galactic the fifth dimension and above and so so it's like fourth dimension fourth fifth sixth seventh dimension and and so this so this is um, this is quite um 
this is a this is a timeline that is a, that will become more and more available. We're going to be able to to connect to the world server pyramid on the on the upper planes of the first dimension and start to. But we can already tap into many dimensions. You may not be aware that you're tapping into other dimensions. But more and more, we're going to be able to leap into other dimensions. Our consciousness is going to be able to draw information from all kinds of dimensions beyond the sub universe. Sometimes even. So, and the dark souls will be confined on the plane of the fourth dimension when they're going to be able to, to experience the fullness of their creation. It is part of their own soul plans. For all of it is just a show. It's God playing role. And, and, and in this show, this theater of light, this drama of creation, which, which is very confined. There is not that many places in the universe when God plays those games of duality. But, uh, but it's all God playing this role of darkness and the role of light. And, uh, but the, the bad guys are really bad and the good guys are really good and it's like this fight is going on for god loves that it's just a part of part of the expansion of the universe and when we turn to the source the creator god is the sublime light the sublime truth the sublime beauty and there is not nothing that that there is no duality within god it just plays role here and so understand it is do not take those things personally although when we are within the flow and motion of that of that duality we, we feel it really real it's like it's really real because what we feel we make real so just as we detach from those lower emotional patterns of duality we want to keep the balance within this we, we become more contemplative we, can, we, we are becoming more and more able to maintain divine neutrality but we have to respect that uh, some souls are playing all kinds of roles huh? uh, <clears throat> and God is all powerful he just has to change his thoughts and everything ends when once he will see that there is no more anything to learn from the dualistic principle all will be ending and everybody will find its right positioning <laughs> the universe is big enough to accommodate all visions all dreams all reality it is far grander than anything we can dream of or believe <clears throat> but this is a free will planet and free will was given to us to choose love <clears throat> and to be submissive to to the will of wisdom that is the creator that everybody receive well, as soon as and, and no matter where we are if we let go of any any problem any darkness any confusion any automatically the, the, the alignment is happening there's no more there's no need for time and huh? There is no time, actually. There is, a, and if you have any problems, anything, just with any of the reality of life, it's like to address the creator of it. For for it's like address God, but no one can judge God. For God is always acting within the the the, the eternal wisdom of, of omniscience. Huh? It's like he it uses all things for the education of souls. But I'm addressing some very advanced concept here. This pro, this concept of unity. Uh, the of unipolarity of life and the, the the responsibility of the of the balance between them, of the transmutation of the darkness for for these three powers that we are given to support the light to transmute the darkness and to decipher between dark and light for that is the master thought the master of wisdom that um, I follow his teachings as well. For for it's it's very difficult to respect and love all beings and when you for me I'm not, my courage is not. Well, I am pretty courageous, but but it's like when when you see uh, uh, tyrants, cannibals, criminals, pedophile uh, people that that, that that doing all kinds of things to love them and respect them is really really difficult. But but the point is to to remove ourselves from all that and for all of that is part of the process. But we will be dealt with right now. All of this is coming back to the picture, and they will have to. So, so we they need love and compassion, nevertheless, for the. the what they create is what they're going to have to experience. And there is always karmic higher reason behind all things. Huh? So, so it's not to be in judgment. Yet to be in the total acceptation of the whole thing is very challenging. Huh? And, and don't need to, to go into the, the depths of all the, the, the... It's heavy enough where we are. So, so it's like uh, when we, what we've, what we're confronted, we don't need to go deeper into the darkness, deeper into the impurity. Just continue to focalize on what is good within you, what, all the good things that are that are uh, the, the, on the positive side and uh, continue to cultivate this love for yourself and from the for the world to be to continue to assist the world and um, and um, um, and, and turn to the source because the source is the the, the ultimate guide and that will bring us back to 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 to, to it to, to the origin and for the, the origin and the destiny is the same point it is it is the creator it is god and so so there's all kinds of reality and there will going to be a separation of timelines 
I'm going to discuss very briefly certain ideas about well, it's like, uh, now it's coming to the forefront of consciousness, you know, as the deep state, those who are pulling the strings behind the behind the scene, and they have puppets and them. And but all of it is they, they really they, they, the light has won. Eh? All of it is going to crumble down. In, in, in fact, that's what, that's what I can see. There, there is not one unified deep state, and eh? there is the Black Alliance, that is a very old. Uh, um, alliance of all the dark forces within this part of the galaxy that has been um, opposing the light in some sense. But, but the, the truth is many, many factions that are fighting against themselves. They all submitted to, on some level to the Draco reptilian, the, the, the negative dragons, the Archons, the, the negative Orion, and, and they all corrupted, they all... They, 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 they all connected to their reverse diamond demons and luciferian forces but but and they want to create a digitalized uh, totalitarian society so so it's like uh, but the, the the power of the of god and the light is so power there is so much awakening in the world so th this would this will soon be it's all gonna drop at once huh? everything will come into pff, the, the revelation will come and so but it is a grand spectacle. The good guys are really good, and the bad guys are really bad. It is a play, but it's it's part of the grand plan of creation. And, and yet, remember your true nature, that is God, that is the source, is always sublimely loving and beautiful. It's just a, a play that has been created. That there's some planet, very few few worlds, and for the the majority of the universe, do not have to deal with such with that. Huh? There is a big build-up around this September 24th, a great event. I don't know if you've seen that. Uh, so, so it's like when you look at The Simpson. The Simpson is like the, considered the, the oracle of the modern time. But it's because they, they have they have um, they have information that comes from insider that, that they have those technology called the looking glass. It's the, the, both sides have it: the deep states, the dark, the dark of humans, and and the uh, the alliance. Have it, and they are able to look at the probabilities of timeline. As far as I know, it's not an interactive technology. They cannot change the past or the future. Yet there are many civilizations, positive and negative, that have technology that are that are interactive, temporal technology that are interactive, and they cre so this part of the, the multi multi dimension. Eventually, God clears up things when it is the time enough is learned. There is a certain timeline that are being completely erased. They also had the Montauk chair in Montauk in New York State. It's like the secret program where they used to put children in that chair and send them into the past to collect artifacts and things like that. But um, the wingmakers are positive groups that come from the 28th century that are uh, that are interactive time travelers. You can make contact them. They're, they're very loving and very enlightened beings. The future humans, but but all of that is like uh, for the, the, so if the Simpson is able to, are able to predict the future, it's because they, they they have access to someone who have access to this technology that shows about the the probability of what is going on. So we'll we'll need to be on on the twenty first of the sol at the the equinox. We're gonna need to do a meditation and hold our light. Um, for what has been predicted is the is a great uh, EM pulse that will turn off all electricity on the planet and it, listen to the oracle of the Simpson the, this big EM pulse that will turn uh, the, the world into the Middle Ages uh, which uh, I don't know what's going to happen but the, the sun needs to be uh, needs to our love and protection for it is uh, the, uh, because there is an, uh, there will be an attempt by negative forces to penetrate the sun to 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 gain a contr more control over the solar system, but it will fail, and it will create a, a reaction that will liberate all kinds of all kinds of veils will fall, and it's going to be a great liber I see a great liberation coming around those time. But the sun will need our, our love and, and consciousness, just as the earth will need our love and consciousness does need it and so uh, but but do, never come from fear. Always come from love. Everything is serving the evolution of uh, of consciousness. For love, love can be external, and when love is external, it's, it makes us vulnerable. It's a song I'm going to sing, um, and it comes from the desire body. And it's conditional love, but yet when it comes, when it comes from within, it is it is the sacred love of the soul. So we want to cultivate this inner connection to love, which will secure us even in in romantic relationship. When we find more security, we can trust more. We have more lucidity in relationship. We do not become vulnerable, and so. 
and all relationships of the future have to be based on truth and integrity. It's very, very essential, whether it is romantic or platonic. And uh, to be in a loving acceptance of, of, of yourself uh, in the present as you are, you know, need uh, to achieve something, to be in the loving acceptance of all you are, where you are, all that you are, and then strive to become a better version of yourself, to uh, uh, always always work towards that and to, to and to, to blend in to harmonize to connect to the, the divine mother and the divine father and the one uh, to, to to integrate the, the various frequency to continue to be in a receptive mode and to keep the door open for the flow of the heart and, and be eager about ascension be enthusiastic about what is coming although it's been promised and it hasn't been felt necessarily what is coming is is utterly beyond and the, the joy and happiness and freedom that will be provided will be utterly beyond anyone's expectation and we're going to connect to our higher self and we'll be connecting to to an amazing collective and and, and everybody will find its right place and so I hope this message was interesting for you. I just wanted to say hello, although it is a day of rest, uh, it, is, uh, it is Shabbat, it is, uh, it is a day to, to consecrate to, to God and to, to spirituality and to, to connect to Mother Earth as well. Uh, to the and so I'm going to finish with a song. I thank you once again for, for continue to, to following the, your heart, following your light, to continue to anchor this light into the, into the, the, into the subconscious, to make it manifest. Focus on what's positive in your life, positive about you. Do not let any, um, obstacle to take you away from the consciousness and knowledge that you are internal and infinite being that have chosen to choose to incarnate in the physical form to assist the planet and humanity at this point huh? and i thank you for liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing we want the we want this light to 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 snowball everywhere, this consciousness, this uh, to, for, for it will happen regardless for it is the will of god that this planet ascend but it, it requires our participation as much as possible. And so I'm finished with a song. It's, it's a song of a Belgium artist, a wonderful called Jacques Brel. This is an English version. It's called If You Go Away. If you go away on this summer day, then you might as well take the sun away. All the birds that flew in the summer sky when our love was new and our heart were high when the day was young and the night was long and the moon stood still for the night bird song if you go away if you go away <clears throat> if you go away but if you stay, I'll make you a day like no day has been or will be again. We'll sail the sun, we'll ride on the rain, we'll talk to the trees and fly with the wind. But if you go away, when I love you so, there'll be nothing left in this world, you know. Just an empty space, full of empty room, like the empty look I see on your face. If you go away, if you go away, if you go away. But if you stay, I'll make you a day like no day has been or will be again. We'll sail the sun, we'll ride on the rain, we'll talk to the trees and fly with the wind. But if you go away, if you go away, please don't go away. Once again, this song illustrates the fact that Conditional love will bring us to vulnerability when unconditional love will secure us within a relationship. And so, so I continue to, to cultivate that, that sense of well-being, that sense of balance, that sense of freedom from fear. And do not let anybody condition what you think or what... Just follow your, follow your own heart, your own soul, uh, integrate whatever means something, although the, there is all kinds of very valuable life is always reflecting us in a meaningful way. We just got to learn discernment once again. I thank you very much. Wish you a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Salat.